The largest bell inside the Campanile chimes every hour, but at noon, the tower comes alive with the sound of a concert carillon, 61 bells producing musical tones. Ryan Tang, a former Cal student, is one of the few people who can masterfully play the carillon. It's completely mechanical, so if you, so the softer that you strike it, um, the softer it is, but you can also play it quite loudly by hitting it fast. When it was first being built, there were only 12 bells designed for the tower. Today, the original ones aren't hard to identify because they have the name Jane K. Sato on them. She donated large sums of money to the university. Over the years, they've added more. Today, there are 61, including the 11,000 pound Great Bear Bell, which features artist Ruka Sawa's carvings of young bears. It is open to the public. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> what many don't realize is that inside the Campanile is a large collection of fossils, housed here even before the tower was entirely completed. This is part of our, you know, fossil heritage. This is a record of uh, prehistoric life in California, right in our own backyard. Uh, Mark Goodwin is a paleontologist at Cal. Uh, yeah. The highlight and of this collection is the large number of fossils from La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles. Paleontologists from UC Berkeley were the first to collect them. Starting in about 1912 and, and uh, brought them back to the UC Berkeley campus. So this is a tray of some saber-toothed cat skulls. While the large canine yeah, is missing, you can right. see how the sharp the front teeth were. The tower is conveniently located near the Valley Life Science Building, making it easy for students to study them. So these old bones live in perfect harmony with the sounds of the past. Berkeley, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.